Hey Silver Trail families, here's Mrs. Turley with another art idea for you to do using items that you might have at home, okay? Um, today I wanted to show you how to make um, some watercolor effect decorated paper, okay? So what you're gonna need is um, some markers, uh, just some, any water-based like Crayola markers that you have around um, like this. Uh, a Ziploc bag, a gallon size Ziploc bag, a piece of paper. You, if you have heavier paper, it will work better. Um, regular printer paper is going to get too wet. Um, you can try it with that or you can try it with whatever paper you have around the house. Okay. And then also some water and a way to spray the water. Okay. Let's get started. All right. I have laid down my piece of paper and then on top of it I'm going to put our Ziploc bag. Okay, um, we are going to take our markers and we're just going to put some color down kind of all over. Now right now you're thinking it's not showing up at all. I can't even see any color at all. Well, part of the reason I put the paper underneath was so that you could kind of see where it is. Um, and it's hard to see, but there's ink uh, just staying, it's just staying right on top. It doesn't soak in like it does with paper. It just stays right on top of the plastic, okay? So you can do this with um, as many colors as you want. I would suggest starting off with no more than three, because otherwise if you add more than that, sometimes it can get really muddy and it can turn into like brown colors and you don't want that. Okay, next we are going to spray it. And you can see when I start spraying it, that it starts turning into little droplets of ink or the marker paint kind of stuff, okay? Now, because there's water droplets on there, they're gonna run off if we pick this up. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lay this down on it, onto where our colors are, and we're gonna kind of mix it around. Now. You can see it soaking through. Paper doesn't like water. So um, that's why I was saying about getting heavier paper if you can. Okay, and then when we pick it up, it's all kind of blended together in a watery way and it makes it look like we've been using watercolor paints, but really we just used markers. So um, you'll need to have this sit down and let it dry and then when it's dry, I can show you a couple of things that you can do with it. All right, after your paper is dry, you can, there are a couple things you can do with it. You can fold it in half and it ends up making a really beautiful card, okay? If you have someone that you wanna send a card to or write a, a note to or a thank you note or a I love you kind of note, you can make a beautiful card out of this paper that we've used. The other thing I was gonna tell you that we could do is you could use, um, in one of my other videos, I talked about how to make a book out of paper. You could use this to make a book and so that you have beautiful decorative paper on the outside of the book. I hope you had fun with this one. I can't wait to see you next time.